No, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> he will, uh, Ecclesiastes 39 and 3. Y'all just stay still. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be con convergent, I'm conversing I'm in dark parables. Right, so there will be conversing in dark parables, man. That's how we speak. All right? All right, let's hold that right there. Somebody get um, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, uh, verse 11, I think. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Let's start at verse 6, sorry. Verse 6? Yeah. How be it? This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6. How be it? We speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of the of this world that come to naught. Anything that's associated with this world is going to come to naught. But, like, but we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, the ones that are perfect in faith. And perfect in doctrine in your house by Shinao Shai. But it becomes a mystery to everybody else. That's what the whole, that's the same thing Yahweh Shai did. When he came on the scene, he spoke to the people in parables. Because only the elect were going to be able to understand and follow him in those days. And we and and, and we're right back in those same that same lot here today, following the word of Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai. Hey, come on. Hey, but you got other heathenistic, well, not other heathen, but you have heathenistic camps out here that can't do that. Why? Because they're not dwelling within the spirit of the Lord Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai, man. As the, as the bishop was just speaking on when the brother brought out Sirach chapter 39 verse 1 and you're going to be meditating and occupied in the prophecies thereof man and right. that shows the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah Revelation 19 and 10 it states that the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy man so therefore and it also says in the book of uh, Sirach 39 and 1 it said it'll be seeking out the uh uh what it says the uh the, the sentences of renowned men man look at the generations of old man you know seeking the old paths man looking at the ones before us the things that they did the path that they walked uh down towards the lord yahweh by shim yahweh shah man that's what we have to do and it uh, and it takes faith to be able to do that man it takes faith to seek out the old path it takes faith to come follow in those old ways because everything that you see on earth right now is caused to is it, it's, it's put here to distort the old paths to get us following a different direction. That's the whole purpose of everything you see on this earth. Go ahead, uh, Yahweh Sark. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5. A wise man will hear and will mm -hmm. increase in learning. And only the elect are going to be able to do that. Two-thirds of our people are going to have their eyes darkened the way, and, their ears, and their ears dull of hearing the way they won't be able to understand the words being spoken. They're not going to understand the prophecy until it's too late. Mm. You know? And, and a man of understanding shall obtain unto wise counsel that wise counsel are the ones the men um the men come out here on the highways and byways giving on that testimony man that was it yep all right let's go back to um where was that oh uh, uh first corinthians back at first corinthians chapter 2 verse 7 but we speak the wisdom of your house was shot in a mystery even the hidden like wisdom even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh Bashim Yahweh ordained before the world unto our glory. Right, yeah, that hidden wisdom, right? Who hid it? Daniel mm -hmm. sealed the book, right? So guess who cracked the seal? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai came and cracked the seal so our minds would be open and we'd be able to, the things that were, that, that were going to happen in the future, the things that happened in the past, the present, and the future, we would be able to have an understanding. That's what he told John the Revelator. He said, I'll show you the things that happened in the past, present, and what the things to come. That was the revelation that was given unto um, uh, John the Revelator on the Isle of Patmos by Yahweh Shai himself. So now it's given it through us through the Spirit. Somebody get Isaiah 36 and 6, 34 and 16. Real quick. Isaiah 36 and 14? Yeah, 34 and 16, real quick. 34 and 16. This is Isaiah. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out the book. Of the Lord and read. Right, and we're seeking those old paths. We're seeking out the book of the Lord and read it. Go ahead. No one of these shall fail. <laughs> None shall want her mate. For my mouth it have it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. So these, these, the ones that have the spirit of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, when these words fall on their ears, they won't be falling on deaf ears. All right, because what is the um, scripture on um, Yahweh Sop is read? Um, a wise man will hear and increase in learning. Huh. All right, that's what the elect are set up to do to hear and increase in learning and increase the others to follow in those footsteps. Uh, so make it Jeremiah 6 and 16. This is yeah. Jeremiah, this is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. Ask for those old paths. We don't want none of this new stuff. 
We want them old pals. <laughs> and what they always tell you in the church, oh, that was the old days. Well, I want to go back to them. <laughs> them days was more righteous than they is right now. Right? right? They try to, they, that's, see, everything is, 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 is put here to distort the old path. We need to find that old path because what? Um, what uh, Jeremiah what, 17 said that we're going to be discontinued from, the, from our heritage. And that's what we need to get back to. All right? Yeah. Uh, All right. This is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 17, just to back up a part that the Bishop Canuck made earlier when he started the lesson. It said, Also, I sent watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet, but they said we would not hearken. Mm -hmm. So the Lord has set watchmen over his people, prophets, ministers, teachers, uh, apostles, okay. you know, elders, uh, 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 evangelists. But we're sounding the trumpet. But guess what? Our people are not listening. They're not hearing any of the words that we're speaking. The words that we speak of, Yahweh Bahashim Shah. So if they choose not to hear us, they're choosing not to hear the Lord. Right. It ain't, it ain't the man that they need to be heard. It's the Lord's voice through the man that needs to be heard. But we are blowing the trumpet because we're the watchmen. We can see what's going on, but our people, they, they waving their hand at us and they fanning us, fanning us off like we crazy. Well, we sound in the trumpet, so when they get took, their blood is going to be on their hands. Right, right. So that's why we're sounding the trumpet. There's a movie I watched called What About Bob, right? And the guy Bob um, was asleep, and they were trying to wake him up, wake him up. They banging on pans, doing all kind of stuff. But then when his, but he wouldn't wake up, but when his alarm went off, he woke up peacefully. See, we are the alarm of you, how about Shema was shot? All right? We're, setting, we're, sending a, we're sounding the trumpet because there's judgment finna come to the earth. And we're, we're, we're setting a way that, um, that helps you escape that judgment and fall into the mercies of you, how about Shema was shot? Somebody outside of, um, please sit up. Somebody sit down. All right, go ahead. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh, keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Right, one of those commandments is to come out here and teach. If you're a man of the Lord, you got to come out here and teach and send that message. Go ahead, Kabash. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom cried without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried to the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Fools hate knowledge because their ears are darkened. Their eyes are darkened. Their ears are dull of hearing. So they hate the knowledge. They reject. They reject and it's the name of the lesson. Go to them that reject the word of the Lord, man. So you're rejecting his mercy. Go ahead. This is Chronicles chapter 36, verse starting at verse 15. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, God of their father, sent to them by his messengers, rising up the times, and send it because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Right. That's why we're able to, that's why we're out here teaching because he's having, this is having compassion on his people. Letting them know the, the judgment that he's about to bring to the earth. Because the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to know that they're Israelites of the Bible, man. They need to understand exactly who they are. Because this world ain't going to tell them. Go ahead. Verse 16, 2 Chronicles 36. But they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misuse his prophets and to the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. Right. There, there's no, there ain't going to be no remedy in that time when the wrath of the Lord rises up against his people. This is the remedy right now. Being in fear right now, fearing in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and, 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 and seeking his mercy. Go ahead. Verse 17. Therefore he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary, and had no compassion upon young man or maiden, old man or him that stooped for age, he gave them all into his hands. Right, right, all right. So that, that, that's that's he giving the warning, right? But if you don't take heed, that, that's when he said, "No, oh, Nebuchadnezzar." Hmm. Right? He said, "Nebuchadnezzar." What he's gonna do in these times? Somebody get Revelation twelve and twelve. This is Revelation chapter twelve. Verse 12, it says, Therefore, rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Because, all right, that's why, that's why our mind's on the meditation of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua and his prophecies. All right, that's, so we're, we're, our citizenship is in heaven. So that's what we're focusing on. We're trying to get to the kingdom, and spiritually we dwell there now. Go ahead. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, mm -hmm. for the devil is come down unto you 
having great wealth because he knows that he has but a short time. Right. So he gonna he gonna send Esau this time, man. He gonna send Esau this time. All right. And Esau gonna Esau gonna take a lot of people out of the way. My, mainly two thirds of our people, man. That he's gonna confuse and make make them feel like they have no hope. He's gonna force them to. He's gonna. He's the one. He's the enforcer of the blindness of our people. Yahweh sent him out to do that, man. Just like he sent the angel out to blind. Um, what you call him? In Isaiah chapter six. All right. Hey, shit. Two thirds of our people ain't gonna have no hope because the hope that they were, they supposed to have, they reject and that they, 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 we send out this. And damn, they reject the hope that we push out to them, which is the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So right. therefore, hey, it's not gonna be any hope for them, man. Hey, go and cry to the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver your day of tribulation, man. Uh -huh. Say so. That's that's gonna be your hope, which is gonna fail, man. Gotcha. Hopes of a man, hopes of a man void of understanding is in vain, man. You know why? Because you're hoping not within the reins of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You're hoping from your own lust of your own heart, man, for your own law, you know? All right. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> so rock 7 and um, 16. Okay. Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners, right. but remember that wrath will not tarry long. Right. Ain't gonna, everybody think because the Lord ain't showed up yet that he's taking his time. Nah. Certain things need to happen. So what we're supposed to be doing now is separating ourselves from the multitude of sinners. Right. Humble thyself greatly, for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worm. Mm. And, that, and that's and, and that's going to be their destiny for not listening to the message being sent out by Yahweh by Shimei Thank y'all. It's Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewn them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Right. Why is he spoiled? Why, why, why is he spoiled? Because he's, uh, Israel keep falling, two thirds of our people keep falling behind the ways of the wicked, man. God. It said, the scripture said, love not oppression. But two thirds of our people love that shit, man. Hey, God. If you're not the oppressor, you need to choose none of his ways. They choosing their ways more than they choosing their own ways. Right. Man. Right. Okay. We won't come down this way. The, the point got to pass, but this is a Revelation 7 and 1. It says, And after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow it on the earth, nor on the sea, nor any tree. That's the only reason why there's still time left, because the Lord is holding back the, holding back the destruction momentarily. That's it. Keep going. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the service of our power in their foreheads. Right, that becomes the responsibility of the men and the women, I mean the men that are out here on the highways and byways, teaching this truth, man. Our, our, our purpose of teaching this truth is so the elect can hear the word and get sealed. All right? So that's the only reason why the destruction is being held back. As soon as all the elect are sealed, we're going to see stuff popping off, popping off, popping off. All right, uh, y'all will stop. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master. Correct. Okay. But Israel does not know. My people do not consider. Like the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans don't consider who their father is, who their creator is, man. Okay. All right? But everybody, every other nation knows. They follow behind their own gods. But Israel refuses to follow behind theirs. Uh, <clears throat> you got one? All right, go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24. Because I have called and he refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Right. The Lord stretched his hand out and they slapped it away. Two thirds of our people are slapping away. The hand of the Lord is Yahweh Shah, man. That's not stretched out right hand to bring his people back towards him. But two thirds of our people are going to reject it. Go ahead. Verse 25. But he has said not at all my counsel. It was none of my reproof. I will also that's let. Why, that's why we we speak wisdom to them that are perfect, but not the wisdom of this world, because two thirds of our people will not be able to understand it. Go ahead. Verse twenty six. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when your distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Right. They're gonna be like when they when 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 this judgment starts to pop off, 
Then they're going to try to seek the Lord, but they ain't going to be able to find him then because he revealed himself through his prophets right now. So this is the time to seek for the Lord. But now in that time when he said he shall laugh, when your fear comes upon you, your fear should be coming now. With the prophets out here on the highways of Bobby, Bobby's giving the warning of destruction coming to this place. This is Baruch uh, 2 and 29. It says, if ye will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number. Right, and that's exactly what's happening. Because two-thirds of our people are not going to hear the voice of the Lord. So that, that's why the scripture said only a remnant shall be saved. Because they're rejecting, they're rejecting the mercies of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Amen, please, sir. Uh, I got one. Uh, uh, Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore, the Lord saith, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth. Everybody's saying they serving the Lord. Always talking about it. Blessing highly favor. They, how much they love God. Israel loves some God, but not the correct one. Go ahead. As much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me, toward Jehovah, is taught by the precepts of men. So they fear, they fear that more than they feel the Creator, man. And this society, this world, takes their mind off of, off the, you know what I'm saying? They say they want to worship of the Lord, but this, this system takes their mind off of that. So that if they had to choose between the bag or worshiping the Lord, they're going to choose the bag. You know? That was it? All right. Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse started uh, verse 10 you no know, verse 11 and for this cause Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned to believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness right that's why he said I'll um, make the, um, the um, hearts of these people fat and their ears dull of hearing all right because the Lord is rejecting them they weren't set up for salvation. They were set up for destruction. The Lord needs an example. He needs an example of right well, of the ones that are following follow righteousness and examples of the ones that are going to follow wickedness, man. That was it. Yeah. All right. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountains of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Right, so we're going to be established over all these governments in the world, man. You know, we went in that went into that a couple of weeks ago, man. Like the valley that we sit in is gonna be risen up and it's gonna be on top of all these hills and mountains that you see here today. That's why Yahweh Shah is gonna have on many, many crowns, because he's conquering everything, man. And they shall be exalted above the hills. Above any hill, above anything established on this earth. Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is gonna be exalted over that, man, and his kingdom is gonna be set up over that. All right, making our floor become their ceiling, and all nations shall flow unto it. Right, they're gonna they're gonna give us everything, man. They have no choice at that moment. Once a righteous rulership, all right. Now everything we gotta render on the seasons where the seasons, right? But now, when when <laughs> when you how about when you how about Shia Shah's kingdom is established, right? They gonna have to render unto us what is us. <laughs> Bottom line, uh, uh, um, um. Uh, Right, this is Jeremiah <laughs> chapter 4, verse 21. It says, How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? How long? Until these prophecies come keep, keep coming past, and the and the Lord and Yahweh said Yahweh side here to bring that destruction. It says, For my people is foolish, they have not known me, they are sight as children, and they have none understanding. None understanding. They're sitting here fighting to stay in a system that's designed to keep us oppressed. You know, you, 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 you look for work, can't find none, you finally get a job, you don't make enough to pay anything. And it's an ongoing cycle, man. Uh, 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 sweat equity. We ain't never going to earn the wages that are due to us, man. Never. As soon as you get, soon as soon as you feel like you get to one threshold, they move the goalposts. But they don't move it up, they move it back. <laughs> And we stay, we study. It's like it's it's like the rat chasing cheese that he's never gonna get. But two thirds of our people are blinded in this society where they feel like they can really get ahead. It's not set up for us to get ahead. 
It's set up for us to be to oppress us. And once you have that understanding, what do we do? We turn to the Lord. Because he's gonna provide everything for us, man. Hey Con, that go back to the uh to the eagle and the uh bird the eagle nest situation that you always uh bring up. Right. See, that's why the uh mother eagle always make that nest uncomfortable. That's what the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is doing with us. That way we're ready to evade this place mentally and also physically too as well. That way when the destruction comes, that's why we're preparing ourselves now, man. But two thirds of our people shit, they bump the bricks in the uh nest, they rather still stay here. They sitting there bleeding. Hey Con, they trying to find <laughs> Damn, I, comfort, comfort yeah, in an I'm uncomfortable about, spot. I'm to make up for it, comfortability. <laughs> hey, God. Hey, they trying to make it comfortable God. within the man, nest, man. And, and, and stay within that nest, man. You know? Hey, the Lord tearing the nest down, and they trying to put it back together. God. That was right. They trying to put it back together. The scripture said we would have healed Babylon, but it cannot be healed. Yeah. You know? What, 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 just to make a, uh, you know, a remark. What was, that, what was that baby commercial with a dude was trying to get his child to eat something? And the baby was like, mm, didn't want it. And he, and he was like, oh, oh, yes, it's delicious. It's nasty. <laughs> like, basically, it fucked him up. Yeah. And he was trying to pretend like it was good. And I used that reference as two thirds of our people, like 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 the brother Arukha was saying. And the other argument, the Lord, that he making the nest uncomfortable, but they're mm. finding comfortable, comfort in a place where they're not to be comfortable at. Yeah. So right. it's like they're being stuck and stabbed. And bleeding like, oh yeah, oh I'm comfortable. Look how comfortable I am. Like, no, you're hurt. <laughs> That's right. They're trying to convince you. God. They're trying to convince us and to being being messed up like they are. Uh, <laughs> that's the future fire swords that they got all over Israel. Hey, just man. like the baby food is nasty, just like America bitter, man. Which what it means, bitter. God. You don't want to eat of this, you want to eat of that spiritual food from the Lord. Yahweh by Shemel man. You want to eat pulse like Daniel did, not the king's meat. This is Deuteronomy 32. And um and eleven, as an eagle stirreth up her nest, <laughs> fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, and beareth them on her on her wings, stirreth up the nest. So the Lord, so Yahweh alone, did lead us, and there was no strange God with him. Mm. All yeah. by itself. So the Lord, as he's pricking up the nest, making it uncomfortable, he's bringing us to him, right? But every two-thirds of our people could sit there and worship in other gods and, and find hope in other and falsehood. But the Lord, the Lord is taking us out of that net, yeah. that nest, which is also a net, a trap. The snare of the fowler, man. But we're being delivered <laughs> from the snare of the fowler by Yahweh by Shimon Shah. Somebody please. Hey, Con, if, I, if I may add on real quick, that's why he chose us in the furnace of affliction, man. So, therefore, we're preparing ourselves, strengthening ourselves up. So that way, when that time comes, we can, hey, shit, when it's time to go up here, we can go up here, man. You know, spiritually, all right? Why? Because, hey, shit, by him making that nest uncomfortable, we don't want to be within this place. This is not our rest. That's why we see this place is not our rest, man. So we're constantly trying to get up out of here. Right. We all came, we're all in that ephah, all right, that place of judgment, but, um, we're going to be delivered. The elect are going to be delivered out of that. All right, go ahead. Uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in the evil net, and the birds that are caught in a snare. So are the sons of men snared in the evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. Well, they ain't going to be able to see it when it comes. You know, they're not going to be able to see it when it comes. Go ahead. So Isaiah 30 and 12. It says, Wherefore this said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall. Right. Yeah. Breach ready to fall, man. That's, and that, that's what that iniquity is going to be on them. They're sitting there trying to be, hold themselves up, but it's going to be like a breach ready to fall and destroy them, man. All right. Uh, bring it down this way. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 7. The morning is come. Unto thee, O thou that dwell in the land, the time comes, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of mountains. Right, the day of trouble is here, man. The day of judgment, right? But how about Shemel Shine? We're waiting for the morning to rise. We're in the nighttime right now. We're waiting for the morning. All right, go ahead. Uh, this is the precept that we were uh, talking about earlier. The book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10 Arise ye and depart. But this is not your rest. This is not the rest for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. Right, and our people are destroyed in the mind by believing in this place. We got to let this place go and keep it moving. 
This is not our rest. We're resting your house by shooting out with shot. All right, Nicole. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 5, verse 22, just to back up the brother Amawan about the, the iniquity and the breach ready to fall on our people. This is, again, Proverbs chapter 5, verse 22. It says, His own iniquity shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, Ugh. and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. Right, because he had died without instruction because he could he never received instruction. Two thirds of our people are not going to receive that instruction. So they're going to die and they disbelieve. Go ahead. Right, and, it said, <laughs> and it said that, that his own iniquity shall take the wicked himself. So our people's own iniquities are going to destroy them. <laughs> their, 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 uh, what it is, spiritual immorality is going to destroy them because they didn't want to listen to the Lord and it's going to take hold of them. They're going to be holding with the cause of their own sins. Meaning the Lord is going to hold them responsible for, for their actions. Mm -hmm. A victim of their own foul play. This is Matthew uh, chapter 24, verse 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, <laughs> that if the good man of the house had known and what watched the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house his house. To be broken up. Right, he, he got Esau blinded. Now Esau don't know when your house shop gonna come in and take his precious jewel. <laughs> and, and leave and leave around the, the little the little speckles of dust. Right? Uh so Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. And there's a purpose for that. Perfect. Yeah, your eyes will see your teachers, and, and, and you better take heed to the warning that your teachers are bringing out. All right, but two thirds of our people are not going to take heed. They're going to take heed unto themselves and whatever falsehood that they have in their mind that they want to follow follow behind to seek refuge. All right, some more push up down this way. So, chapter 69, verse 22 that their table become a snare before them, and that which shall be for their welfare. Let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thine indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. That wrath of the Lord is going to take hold of them. This Bible has become a table, a, a snare unto them. The table that they set up for these idols and these false philosophies is going to become a snare unto them. Because that's what they're going to try to find refuge in. They're not going to seek refuge in the Lord. Mm. The Lord the Lord is all, blinding the hearts of them, so they would not be able to understand and this, oh, hold on, hold on, yeah, oh, and this light came into the world as a beacon to show our people the way out of this place, to get our minds out of this place. But because they rejected it and whatever had they focused to steal them away from their light, that's the snare, the trap that they fell for, carnality. Because they chose carnality over the spiritual path of the Lord. Yeah. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou should be no priest to me. Right, so the Lord has rejected them, man. See that? The Lord, so we, we become a sanctuary uh, for the Lord's people, giving them hope. But the ones that are rejected ain't going to be no sanctuary for the Lord. They ain't going to be able to minister unto the Lord. Hmm. All right? Go ahead. That was it. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, Yahweh, I will also forget thy children. So, so the, the, you and your children gonna get it. Hey, God. Ultimately, <laughs> also too, that means no salvation for you, cause hey, you rejected that uh, knowledge of the Lord Yahweh by some Yahweh Shai back then, and you also gonna reject it now, man. Hey, nothing new under the sun. So therefore, a hey, salvation is closing to you. Why? Because you first uh, 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 rejected the knowledge back then, and shit. Hey, throughout time, hey, the spirit of the prophets is such a to the prophet. Hey, so that same spirit of of, of renouncing the Lord. What well, denounce in the Lord, hey, is going to be subject unto you too as well, man. Right. So let the wicked be, let the righteous be righteous still, and let the wicked be wicked still, man. You ain't going to reject the Lord back when he was on the scene. Now all of a sudden you, you believe. It ain't going to happen like that. Go ahead. Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and evil and of pestilence. Right, and that's what we're doing here again today, man. Staying on our lot any, every single time. Staying on our lot every single time, man. Not rejecting the Lord, but going out here doing the work for the Lord. Y'all, by Shimei, I was shy.
So the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans need to understand that they're the children of Israel, the most high's chosen people. Right. But, um, here you go. The prophet, the prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall that prophet be known that Yahweh truly have sent him. Oh, so you had all these false prophets that were prophesying peace to us with God. They say, uh, what do they call it? The doctrine of... Um, um, huh? No, um, um, the money doctrine. Prosperity doctrine. Prosperity doctrine. You know, they say, hey, sow a seed and God will forgive you. So they were promising peace to our people, and the Lord is still angry with our people. See, but when the Lord, but when the Lord sends his true prophets, and the, the, the scriptures say, blessed are the peacemakers. Right. The ones that are sent to go up into the gap, to bring peace between the Father and the Son. And when that, pre, when that peace truly comes to pass, What's that piece he's talking about? Deliverance. Right. What's that piece he's talking about? Us having the comforter, right. the spirit of truth. Right. That's how you know that when your eyes shall see thy teachers and see the true teachers of the Lord. Right. When that peace truly comes to pass. Right. Because if you're teaching that, if you're teaching that um, the, our, our people that the Lord, the Lord loves everybody and everything, then our people are thinking that they're, they're a good case. Yeah. They don't. They're not knowing that they have to change. Yeah. Because, but when you when you have a true understanding of the Lord. Then you know that you, you 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 begin to look at yourself in the eyes of the, of the way the Lord will look at you, and you begin to what? First you repent, mm -hmm. and then you move in a different direction than when you were moving and when you were in the world, man. Damn. Hey, that go back to Second Ezra, what sixteen? They should thank themselves to be a good case. Then so he was go upon the earth. Why? Because just like the bishop and the uh, elder was just speaking on, man. And you got these false prophets out here teaching this prosperity doctrine. So long as this shit, the food, the money, and this, that, and the third is still coming in, they not realizing that this shit really finna literally cave in. It's gonna come to <laughs> you as a breach, man. You know, uh -huh. hey, they like they said, like they said, they're teaching prosperity, man. But hey, America is falling, man. It's falling in the process of, you know. This is Jeremiah 8 and 11. For they have healed the, the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly. Damn. Saying peace, peace. When there is no peace. Right. That's slightly, <laughs> that slightly you get a, a sense of comfort, but it really ain't comfort. Because it ain't no peace. But it, when that, 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 slight, that slight healing is deception. Mm -hmm. The people think they heal, but they're not. Like, like if your body hurt, like if your body hurt, you'll kind of overcompensate to relieve that pain. It's like now that pain is, 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 is relieved, but now you got another pain coming up somewhere else because you're trying to overcompensate for that pain in your body. And the, uh, the false prophets. Gone, gone. You know, they give false promises to our people. And then you got the government. Right. PPP, PPP loans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like child support. Reparations. Food stamps. No reparations. No, they ain't give us no reparations. So they have healed the daughter. They have healed slightly. They ain't, they ain't fully healed us. Right. No, we don't get no reparations. They're right. Right. You know? They, they, they sell lift the, the wounds of our people. Yeah. Yeah, they lift the Actually, that, that healing slightly has made it worse. Made, made, made our people fall more in, in the following. You know? Just real quick. They about to take Esau dainties, that so-called medicine, that instead of healing the pain, it just numb the pain so it feels like it's not there, but it's there and you're making it worse. Our people will take these doctrines, philosophies, and they'll think they're in good case of the Lord, but they're in transgression. Yes, you gotta boost up. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 18. And I'm going to start at verse 19. It says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet which shall presume to speak the word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, all that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. All right, self-explanatory, man, for all the prophets, the false prophets that are, uh, that are speaking, not according to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's establishment. Hey, the, that blood is on their hands. Why? Because you're not blowing that proper trumpet, man. So the people still have blood on their hands, and that blood is on, well, the blood is on your hands. Why? Because you're leading them astray, man. You know, so, hey, shit, that's why you got to be out here speaking in sincerity and in truth, you know. Uh, verse, verse 21, and it says, if thou say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have not spoken? When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have not spoken. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously. Right, God. <laughs> God. 
Hey, Nate the Snake. Yes, Jackass. Gone. <laughs> Informant. Uh, uh, what's the other one name? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, Al Sharpton. Gone. There you go. Queflo still your dollar. Gone. Yeah, they. They they all have given our people false hope. False hope that doesn't even really exist, man. Talking about talking about standing together. What he saw. Skip said, "Though hand join the hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished." Right, so if you join in the hand with the wicked, you're gonna get that same punishment of reward of the wicked. All right, my up. Uh, well, in Second Peter chapter one verse nineteen, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that he take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn. And the day star arise in your heart. That's what we're waiting on the day star to arise in our heart. That day star is the house side, man. That day star is the house side. That's what we're waiting. We're waiting for that first peak of sunlight over the horizon. That's when the Lord's going to show up and deliver us from this place, man. But 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 until then, we're supposed to be occupied in prophecy and prophesying His word until He returns. Speaking of His uh, speaking of His coming before He gets there, giving them, giving them warning, giving warning from Him of what's what's expected to come. Not the falsehood that these other doctors and churches teach. Tell them not to like make it seem like he coming to, to join everybody together. No, he put he put the sheep on the on the right side and his goats on the left. Go ahead. Psalm eighteen and twenty seven. But thou will save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. For thou will light my candle. The how of my power will enlighten my darkness. Right. With the spirit. That's how he's enlightening the darkness. He'll make the hearts of these people uh, make the minds of these people dark yep. and their ears dull to hear. So they don't have that day star in their heart. Yep. We're gonna elevate them. Huh. And within within that elevation, that elevation, uh more revelation comes. Um, of the revealing of the manifestation of the sons of God. Like, in power, being able to use both sides of your brain. Yes. Huh. 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 The Lord's gonna elevate us on a whole nother level before we even get the body. Huh. That's why King David knew that he was a prophet. King was King David was a king and a prophet. And he said, he, "I know you're gonna light my candle one day." And when that happens, we might hear that voice, "Take the world." <laughs> so we might hear, "Take the world." You know, King sure, David tried to. Make sure you show you heard it though. Yeah, come on, come on, before you start taking some stuff. Yeah. Jeremiah chapter fifty-one, verse twenty and twenty-one. Thou art my battle axe and weapon of war, for with thee would I break in pieces the nation, and with thee would I destroy kingdoms. Verse 21, and with thee would I break in pieces the horses and his rider, and with thee would I break in pieces the chariot and his riders. Right, we're just doing that through the spirit right now. But when we hear that voice, Say take over the world, then we'll know that the Lord then 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 uh then, then lighten us up, then elevated us. It's lit. To be able to physically do it, what we, we what what the spiritual man, the physical manifestation of what we've been doing spiritually, man. And that's and that's what we're waiting on to be able to put uh, have our, our hands around the necks of our oppressors. Mm -hmm. huh? This is Psalm fifty-eight. <clears throat> Psalm 58 and 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb. I'm talking about the wicked, Esau. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies, just like the serpent in the garden. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They right, are like... Because those are their poisonous words, because life and death are in the power of the tongue. You know, if you're, inside, if you're out here putting out lies, you're killing. <laughs> but what was, what was Jacob sent to do? Jacob was sent to heal. <laughs> Right. Yep. <laughs> they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers, charming never so wisely. Mm -hmm. This is the point. He said the Lord is going to use us to break them in pieces, right? right. Break out their teeth, mm. O Yahweh. And, 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 and their might is, the, is their military, but ma mainly their might is their lies. That's the that's the, really their might is their lies, man. Yep. So he's breaking down their lies with the truth. Yeah, and and it's gonna go into uh breaking down their military huh. and, and their power. All their might. What's their might? Everything on the left hand side. Police force. 
Yeah, well, everything on the left hand side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah the, the courts, the religions, the lies, the schools. You know, and, and um, yeah, so the Lord gonna use His men to break them, man. But first, the Lord gonna break their power. He gonna break the staff for the wicked, which is America. And he using us to break, uh, uh, break up the fallow ground of our people, and break the chains that are on our people's minds that Esau shackled our, our, the minds of our people. Hey, con, hey, just to throw in that, that just shows too that, hey, man, hey, once the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, program you to do something, you can't go astray from that, man. The wicked are, they shit, they go from the womb, all right, speaking lies, man. What hey, about Jeremiah? Con, hey, that's what I often to go to. Hey, shit, he, 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 he formed us in the belly before we was even birthed, uh, program, that's what the truth, man. So, hey, therefore, we can't go straight from the uh, task that the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has put us on, man. Right. So, hey, because we have to combat with the uh, task of the wicked. We have to, shit, we got to see it through. Right. Just just like there was a strange from going uh, in the womb, yes. we were we were, we were were ordained <laughs> and given our Holy Spirit in the womb. Right. You know? Right. Go on. Go on. Go on. Quick. Break their teeth, so break out their might. Oh, Yahweh. In their mouth, so break out their teeth while they eat. What did the Lord say? When they go to devour, that's when the Lord gonna rain fire upon them. They gonna go try to eat some chicken and find out they ain't got no teeth. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right no, break out the great teeth of the young lions. All right. Oh Lord, let them melt away as the waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows. Let them be as cut in pieces. No weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Uh. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. That's what the Lord said. It said, uh, the slain of the Lord shall be many, man. The Lord gonna get the Lord gonna get credit for that high body count. <laughs> the Lord gonna send his men out there to destroy some shit. He's gonna get credit. Who is this with, uh coming back from Baja with garbage dyed in red? You know? Interjection. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 46 and 47. All our enemies have opened their mouth against us. Ooh. 47. Fear and a sneer has come upon us. Desolation and destruction. Right, because listen, and that goes for us listening to the mouths of our enemies and not listening to the Lord. All right? We, if we listen to your howl by Shinya Osha, we have hope, right? But if we listen to the mouths of our enemy, which speak in lies, that takes away that hope. That puts us in a that puts us in a bad case, right? That puts us at variance against the Lord, all right? And it puts us on the path of destruction. But those that choose, those that are chosen to believe in the words of your howl by Shinya Osha, fall into His mercy, not His destruction. Good. They said we're gonna wash our feet and blood the wicked, man. Mm -hmm. That day is coming. That's a prophecy. It's coming. Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Right, it's going to come. Though it seems like it's taking a long time, it really isn't. All right, it's going to come. And, and the thing about it is, the Lord knows how to set the mindset of the people. Well, Two-thirds of our people ain't even thinking about what's coming, man. Mm -hmm. This Psalm 69 in verse... 22, let their table become a snare before them, and that which should have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Let their eyes be darkened that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. Pour out thy indignation upon them, and let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents, for they persecute him who thou hast smitten, and they talk to the grief of those whom thou has wounded, add iniquity unto their iniquity, <laughs> and let them not come into thy righteousness. Let them be blotted like? out of the book of the living. Right, what does that sound like? They shall bend their back down all the way. They said, let, let her iniquity, that their iniquity turn into more iniquity. <laughs> like, let them continue. Somebody get all uh, Second Peter 2 and 9. Let them continue in their ways of folly all the way to the end, to destruction. Hey, Con, okay, all right. So, boom, Jacob and Esau, the father. And you got to look at it like a bad child, all right? The, your, your parents have promised you all this, this, that, and the third. and promised you the kingdom. They promised these spiritual bodies, all right? And the morally aspect, hey, man, you done did good. You keep it up. We're going to take you to Disney World, whatever the case may be. All right, but yet you got Saul puts Esau right here. 
he know he done messed up so bad. He's trying to get you to go off constantly and constantly. Why? So you can be in the same seat as him, man. But you got to stay focused on that prize, you know? So that's why you got to focus on the words of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hey, as the elder just brought out, hey, the vision is yet from the point in time. You got to constantly stay focused on that. Constantly uh, uh, keep your mind on that. Why? Because it's going to come to pass. You got to continue to trust in the words of your parents. You got to continue to trust in the words of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. And not in the lies of the wicked, you know? Right. You got to understand that we ain't going to be able to do nothing, but the Lord's going to do all of it for us, even within ourselves. A quick yeah. testimony going into the Day of Atonement. I always get nervous around the Day of Atonement, but the Lord put a different spirit on me. Like, I couldn't, I feel like I can't do it, but I realized this one that I never, I've never done it. The Lord has done it for me the whole single, the whole time. So when we get to that point where we're faced, where they try to make us feel like, you know, we have no way out, the Lord is going to provide that way out. The Lord's gonna preserve our minds so we won't even that we we won't even be able to fathom what they're talking to us. The only thing we're gonna hear is the voice of the Lord guide us to, a, to, to the direction we need to go. Hunger is gonna be the last of our worry. We're gonna right. be worried about survival shit. We ain't gonna even worry about that. Lord, come. We're gonna be surviving. The Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna have, the Lord's gonna have all that all that taken care of for us. Mm. And he's gonna show that he's gonna show he's gonna show us and the world that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you imagine how they felt when Moses walked into that, that sea and there was no way there? And the Most High made a way out of nowhere. Way out of nowhere. That's what we got to look for. Uh, John 14 and 27. Just like during the times of, of John the Baptist and the believers were waiting on Yahweh Shai and they saw no way. That's why in Revelation 12, it says uh, the woman cried out with in travail. That there was no way to get past them damn Romans, the mystery of iniquity that was already working that damn pride on us, right? And then the next thing you know, Yahweh Shah showed up. He made a way out of nowhere. You feel me? So it says this, peace, I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The Lord didn't give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and love and of a sound mind. And to know and understand that, that that's knowing, that's the spirit that he give, gives to us. But he gave everybody else the spirit of this world. And he, this world is going to be in straight chaos, so their mind is going to be in chaos. Can you, can you imagine that? Imagine like a, a sound mind is going to be a, a, the hottest commodity on mm -hmm. earth in those times. Mm -hmm. That's why he said, I shall make a man more precious than fine gold. And a hiding place for the destruction that's going to come. Cause they gonna see a man of the Lord walking around, walking around in confidence when all this chaos is going on. They are gonna be looking like, what? Hey, what? What he got? <laughs> Let's go that way. Where he going? <laughs> hey, yes, sir. I'm having the best day of my life, man. Hey, like it goes into Isaiah 65 or 12. Yep. Therefore, will I number you to the sword, when, cause when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear. But you chose to dwell in where the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai delighted not, and you keep going. It says, "Behold, my servant shall uh, rejoice." All right, uh, uh, behold, my servant shall uh, sing for a uh, joy of heart, man. Why are we going to do that? Why? Because that's the things that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai told us about before they came to pass, man. Henceforth, the spirit of prophecy to say before it comes to pass, man. Huh. And also too, a hey, shit, a hey, also too, a hey, we build. We, Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time, man. And we building this spiritual house up on the foundation of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So when that time of Jacob's trouble hit that climax, when the shit finally hit the fan, man, hey, everybody else's foundation around here is going to break up, man. Or it's going to be as in a breaching to them. Why? Because the foundation that they built upon is not a sturdy foundation, man. It's built upon sand, so it's going to fall, man. They're not going to have, they, 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 they were working with untempered mortar, you know? Right. Right. Remember in, um, in Independence Day, how uh, everybody was trying to get out of the city, right? And and um and there was a one car going into the city where all everything, all the chaos was happening. And that's just like us going to have the spirit of the buffalo. We're not going to run from the storm. We're running through the storm to get to the other side. Because you know what? There's refuge on the other side. But everybody else going to turn in a different direction. We're going. We're going in the direction that the Lord calling us in. Like it's it, like He calling us from the other side of the storm. And we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be able to trust that voice and run through it because he's gonna, he's the one bringing it, so he's gonna protect us from it. Right, you got something for? Oh yeah. Uh, this is Sirach thirty-eight and thirty-one. All these trust in their hands, and every one is wise in his work. But they will maintain this thirty-four. But they will maintain the state of the world, and all their desire is in the work of their craft. 
So what happens when that crab fails? Mine's gonna fail. Dad's gonna fail too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when they gonna know they ain't got no hope. They ain't got no hope. There you go. Pizza. All right. This is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 14. For the hope of the ungodly is like dust that is blown away with the wind. <laughs> like a thin froth that is <laughs> driven away with the storm. Like as the smoke which is dispersed here and there with the tempest. As the pat and passeth away as the remembrance of a guest that tarrieth but a day. But the righteous live forevermore. Their reward also is with the Lord. And the care of them is with the Most High. Mm. So now, that, those are the ones that are walking according to the Spirit. Those are the ones that are walking according to the sixth sense. Because guess what? You have five senses, but the sixth is one of, of cognitation. Seven, 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 right. Of cognitations that, that separates the Spirit from the flesh. Because what me and my me and my nephew had a, a real deep conversation last night, and he and, and he came to realize the whole destruction of humanity comes from the desires of the flesh. All right, so so the desires of the flesh will have you eating anything that'll fill your belly. Like desires of the flesh will have you mating with anything that you can get, get your rocks off on. We're having no not having no governance of any law or or you know what I'm saying or any order. The desires of the flesh are just so the seven sins is what separates from beast from man. I mean from beast, right? But 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 you have two thirds of our people in these other nations that walk around like brute beasts because all they're doing is catering to the flesh. They have no option to live according to the spirit. Well, this is Rock chapter seventeen, verse five. It says they received the use of the five operations of the Lord, and in the sixth place he imparted them understanding, mm -hmm. and in the seventh. Speech and interpret and interpreter of the cogitations thereof. Right, the speech and interpretation of, of what the spirit is saying, and the understanding of it, man. But if you ain't got that, you're gonna be just like a brute beast because you don't have the understanding of your by shooting out shot. So you're not gonna be able to understand and receive his message. Go ahead. Second Ezra four and two, and said, "Thy heart have gone too far in this world, and mm. thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the Most High." You ain't gonna be able because why you got you got the the Ecclesiastes three and eleven, you got the world in your heart that would that the, that you may not know the things of your how about Shimao Shai, right? So so but 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 the, the elect have the First Corinthians two and twelve, they they have the spirit of your how about Shimao Shai, not the spirit of the world. There's a big difference, all right? We'll have to wrap it up in a second. All right, go ahead. Amos chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, verse 2, you only have I known of all family of the earth. So this message is only going out to Israel, man. Right, uh, uh, and of Israel, only the elect of Israel. Because two thirds of Israel is not going to be able to get it. He's, he's, they're not. They're not. They're not. Even if they're just because they're the seed of Abraham, that doesn't mean they're of Israel, man. We're talking about the Israel of Yahweh Bashtab Shai right now, which is the elect. All right. Um, let's get back to um, that First Corinthians chapter two, six. Uh, it'll come back around. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 2, verse 6. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. How the howbeit we speak wisdom to them that are perfect, perfect and faithful, perfect in doctrine. All right, but not the wisdom of this world, because the wisdom of this world come to naught. All right, read that last part. We probably close it. It says, "Nor of the princes of this world that come to naught, but we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained before the world unto our glory." So He ordained it unto the world for our glory. So there has to be a certain ordainment, a certain token to give them to those ones to be ordained to be able to understand that mystery. That, that 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 the world will not be able to receive. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close it out because this weather's getting kind of bad out here. Um, hopefully this portion of the lesson was edifying and served its purpose. We're gonna give all praise and glory to the most. Anybody have another precept? Oh, slack it, slack it. All right. Lord, will this lesson edifying and serve its purpose for the hopeful elect? And right now we're gonna give all glory and praise to the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit of truth. We're gonna say, Kyle, Kyle, Halayim, Halayim, La, La, Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashem, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Bashem, Ha, Ha, Raka, Raka, Kadash, Ma, Ma, Ma. Double honor to the elder apostles, the great most on, and our elder here one as well. Salutations to the Akim that are pushing the truth to sincerity and truth, and peace and blessing to the men, women, and children that believe in the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom, Shalom. Keep pushing. Keep hustling.